You can make even more engaging videos when you discover how to dress up the text you add to your videos with cool animations. It's called kinetic topography, and that's what we're going to cover in this video right now. Hey, it's Gord here. Welcome. If it's your first time here and it's your passion to make great videos, become a ninja at video editing and learn more tips on how to succeed with video and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Let's dive in. Our first step is to add text, and then we'll add animations and behaviors to create the text in motion magic. Annotations are graphics that get placed on the top track or top visible layer of a video to draw the viewer's attention. Text is considered an annotation from the callout category. In the callout category, you will find both plain text and text that is inside shapes like arrows or speech bubbles. There are many plain text callouts that differ by their default font and size. You can see that the text callouts are grouped into style categories. You can browse through each category or just work with the all style category to find the text related callout you desire. You can add text in a few different ways. One, double click on the callout and it will get added to the center area of the canvas and placed on the timeline at the current position of the playhead and on the top track layer. Or two, click and drag the callout onto the canvas to place where you want it to be located and the callout will again be added to the timeline at the playhead. Or, number three, you can click and drag the callout directly onto the timeline where you want it to be. The easiest way to modify the text callout is to interact with it on the canvas work area. Double click on the text to change it from the default. You can click and drag the callout to move it around. You can click the turn handle in the middle of the object and then move it around and rotate the callout. You can click on the handles and resize. You can even use shift, click and drag to do a proportional resizing. You can even reorder the callout in the track layers based on how you want it to be seen. The duration of an annotation can also be changed by simply dragging either end of the annotation in or out to shorten or lengthen the duration. You also have the properties panels on the right hand side of the canvas that you can access to customize the look and feel of the annotation. For example, you may want to change the font, background color, and other details. Regardless of what properties you tune, you can also reset your changes. For a text callout, there will be the text and visual properties that you can modify. You can modify things like scale, opacity, and position. You can modify things like the font style, the font color, and alignment. You can also see the drop shadow visual effect default. You can tune it or even delete it if you don't want to keep it. For a text callout in a shape, there will be the text, visual, and annotation properties that you can modify. In the annotation properties for the callout, you can modify the shape to be one of the others in the given category. You can also change fill and outline colors, opacity, and thickness. What I wanted to just show you was the basics on how to apply a custom animation and a behavior to an annotation. So you can take a text annotation like I have this ABC. I'm going to just delete that now because I just put one on here nicely colored the way I want with the right kind of font. And now I'm just going to go and add on to it a custom animation. So we go to animations here, click on custom. And when I drag it onto the uh, clip here, um, the annotation, you can see that there's a beginning keyframe and an end keyframe. You can click on them both. And because I'm dealing with a kinetic topography, I want to have the word happy spin to be on a vertical axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on the end and then use the, the turn to rotate it and then uh, move it into position. So now we can see that when it executes, it moves the word happy up to the vertical. You're going to see this technique used a lot throughout and that's all that does so far. Now we're going to add a behavior to give a little more flavor to things. So now we go to behavior 
and I'm going to use the pop-up behavior and to do that you just drag the behavior on to the annotation here the callout the annotation callout and then the says behavior added and now you're going to see the pop-up has an in hinge dur uh, during pop-up and then out as a hinge so let's just observe the hinge so as we know we already have the animation part there now watch the first few frames as we go you see it looks like a nice hinge pop up for the word happy and then it and then as it's rotating and then you're going to see when it phases out you're going to see the same kind of see there you go same kind of hinging part and then it's going to disappear so i just wanted to show you it's that simple to um, start to play with the custom animations and the behaviors and you're going to see that used throughout the examples so here we are in example two which is freedom from the tyranny of opposites it's all words there's no other shapes or anything special involved here so it's predominantly just a few um, behaviors and some animations custom animations to change the angle so as you can see here with the word freedom uh, the, the begin and end keyframe here it goes from flat to uh, vertical and then the word from here on this animation goes from from horizontal to you know flipped upside down and then here in this animation the word from goes you know to vertical so that just gives you an idea of how the animations were utilized and now we're going to take a quick look at um, the behaviors so here in this first one we're, we're looking at the word freedom and you can see it says it's drifting and the behavior is bounce in and then sliding and in the bounce in the text comes from first to last so as you can see the letters are bouncing from first to last and then um, eventually the behavior see the letters of the word uh, sorry of, um, of freedom going off to the left there so that gives you the idea of, again how the out is working and its text going from right to left and that's pretty straightforward now we're going up to the next level of text on this track which is the word from and from the behavior standpoint we're looking at it says it's scale and as you can see right at the start it it, it grows from nothing into the word from and then at the very end you're gonna see it goes from from to nothing so it shrinks so that's validated here by just looking at the scale behavior here it says grow when it comes in and on the out it does a shrink so again you can play with the other details on how you want the letters to appear as they grow and shrink but that's up to you with your playing and then the next level here is dealing with the words the tyranny uh, of and as you can see the tyranny of slides in from the left from the right to the left and then when it's going out it just fades out so in here we'll look at the property close this one open this one it's called a drifting property and on the end it does a bounce in from left to right which we can see again the text coming in and then on the out as we saw it's uh, a diag a fade out a diagonal left so there's the fade out of the tyranny of and the last piece is the word opposites which as you can see now if we open up the behavior it's using a pop-up and that's pretty clear because right here at the beginning it pops up nicely and then it sort of stays with the pop-up motif and then on the end it slides out to the right with an interesting kind of letter uh, grouping and that's called sliding using the ease out movement to the right and again you can play with these parameters but I'm just you know showing you so that you can play and get an idea of how this all came together and that's it for example number two Wow! Using kinetic topography animation techniques is one of the best tools in my video creation arsenal. If you want more cool tips for video creating and you wish to create better videos from home, click on the link for my free ebook. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe icon on this page so that you don't miss any more videos. And thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.